I'm gonna show you exactly the framework we use to pre-qualify our leads and why gatekeepers end up being our best friend instead of, just leave me a card, I'll have him call you if he's interested. Draw this out for me real quick. Take this as a hamburger approach. We start with something, we end with something, and then the meat in the middle is what you're gonna to wanna to follow to make sure that you can check these three boxes. Here we go, here's exactly how it works. What you're not going to do, N-O-T, you're not going to do is go through the door and start the conversation off reflexive. Example, hi, uh, uh, how, how are you today? Uh, I, I'm fine, what can, I, what can I do for you? Reflexive, the moment you start a conversation off reflexive, you trigger a reflexive response and then it's all gonna go downhill from there. You've got to walk through that door and the first thing you're going to do is you're gonna do the thing that the gatekeeper is very, very good at. They're very good at helping. That's why they're in the front office. So you're gonna ask them, hey, will you do the thing that you're very good at doing, which is helping. Here's how you do that. The ding ding or pick up the phone. Hey, yeah, um, listen, I'm hoping, I'm sure hoping you could help me out. Help me. Help me, God. Help me. You're going to ask for their help in a real and genuine fashion because you understand that if they don't offer you help, you stand a very low chance at meeting your objective. You need their help in order to reach your objective. And since you need their help, you're simply going to ask for their help. And then check this out. Guess what you're gonna do at the end of it? You're going to thank them for their help. You're gonna start by asking for help. Then you're going to say, thank you for helping me. Now watch this piece of little magic here. Your gatekeeper, put yourself in him or her shoe on the phone or in the field or put them in your seat. The first thing they're going to say, and I mean 99 out of 100 times, when you genuinely ask for their help, they're going to genuinely look back at you and say, you bet. Let me see. I'll sure try. Absolutely. They're going to say something 99 out of 100 times. That conversation is now going to start off non-reflexive and positive. Let me see what I can do. What you need. Ask for their help. Then they immediately, you got to put yourself in their seat. The first thing they're thinking is, who is this person? And then they're thinking, why are they here and what do they want? That is exactly what's going on inside of your gatekeeper's mind right now. Well, they asked for my help. I'm sure gonna try, but who the heck are they? Why are they here and what do they want? And if you'll do what their brain is asking for faster than their brain thinks through this, you will nail it. 99 out of 100 times. Simply follow who I am, why I'm here, what I want, because their brain is already trying to figure out who are you, why are you here, and what do you want? Magic! Audio jump.